The San Francisco Bay Delta is on the verge of total ecosystem collapse. The main cause of the estuary's decline is the lack of sufficient freshwater inflow from California's Central Valley rivers. In a last-ditch attempt to revive the Bay Delta and its tributaries, the State Water Resources Control Board is updating the Bay Delta Water Quality Control Plan. The aim is to achieve the state's co-equal goals of restoring ecosystems and ensuring a reliable water supply. Phase one of the plan was initiated in 2009 to update in-stream flow objectives for the San Joaquin River and its three major tributaries, and to update salinity objectives for the Southern Delta. The plan will establish flow objectives for the Stanislaw, Tuolumne, and Merced rivers, which all flow into the San Joaquin River. In-stream flow requirements would start at 40% of unimpaired flow between February and June, which are critical months for juvenile salmon rearing and outmigration. The plan allows for adaptive management so that in-stream flows might increase or decrease depending on whether biological and environmental goals are met. Non-flow measures, such as controlling non-native predatory fish, gravel augmentation, and other habitat restoration, could reduce flow requirements if they're successful. Agricultural water districts have opposed the plan, and disappointingly, the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, which manages the Hetch Hetchy water system on the Tuolumne River, has joined them. The SFPUC provides water to 2.7 million people in San Francisco, San Mateo, Santa Clara, and Alameda counties, one of the most environmentally conscientious regions in the country. One reason the SFPUC opposes the plan is because it has a contractual obligation with the Modesto and Turlock Irrigation Districts to follow their lead on in-stream flows. In 1995, the SFPUC gave up its right to think and act in accordance with the values of its constituents. A recent public opinion poll commissioned by the Tuolumne River Trust found that 93% of San Franciscans conserved water during the recent drought. Of those, 94% cited environmental protection as a motivating factor. 72% said they'd be more likely to conserve water if it benefited the environment, whereas only 21% said they'd be more likely if it enabled more development. Three times as many people said they would be more likely to support blending groundwater with drinking water if it benefited the environment versus enabling more development. 97% supported measures to protect San Francisco Bay, and 92% supported restoration of the Tuolumne River. Support for housing also was high, with 88% support for affordable housing and 69% support for market rate housing. Support for creating more office space was low, at 40%. Another reason the SFPUC opposes the Bay Delta Plan is because it's planning for a massive amount of development in the coming years. Plan Bay Area, a roadmap for development prepared by Bay Area Metro, forecasts the addition of 1.3 million new jobs and 2 million more people to the Bay Area between 2010 and 2040. When asked if they thought Plan Bay Area would improve or worsen their quality of life, 11% believed it would improve their lives, while 65% felt it would make their lives worse. Of those who had an opinion, 85% believed Plan Bay Area would worsen their quality of life. To predict how the Bay Delta Plan might impact the Bay Area, it's important to understand the SFPUC's water rights, demand, and storage. The SFPUC has junior water rights to the Modesto and Turlock Irrigation Districts. The first 2,400 cubic feet per second flowing down the Tuolumne belong to the Irrigation Districts, and that increases to 4,000 cubic feet per second for two months during the spring runoff. Anything above that belongs to the SFPUC. In a normal water year, the SFPUC is entitled to three times as much water as it uses. So if its reservoirs are low, they refill quickly. At full storage, the SFPUC has enough water to last six years. Even at the height of the recent drought, the SFPUC had enough water in storage to last three years. Even before the winter deluge of 2017, the SFPUC had enough water in storage to last four and a half years. 2017 was the second wettest year on record in the Tuolumne River watershed, and the SFPUC had the right to capture enough water to last 12 years. Obviously, they didn't have enough storage capacity to capture all that water, so they had to dump most of it, creating one excessively good year for the river at the expense of five terrible years. The water we all conserved during the drought didn't benefit the environment, 
but rather was impounded behind dams, only to be dumped in a single season. Meanwhile, SFPUC staff have used scare tactics to gain support for their opposition to the Bay Delta plan. They claim it could lead to the loss of up to 188,000 jobs and $49 billion. Their projections are based on an extremely flawed socioeconomic study, which has since been debunked. Water demand in the SFPUC service area decreased by 30% between 2006 and 2016. Had the SFPUC's projections been accurate, we should have seen the loss of nearly 25,000 jobs and $6.5 billion. But in fact, 125,000 jobs were added in San Francisco alone, and the economy grew stronger than ever. In San Francisco and San Mateo counties, which get almost all of their water from the SFPUC and make up two-thirds of its customer base, jobs increased by 27%, while water use declined by 23%. The Tuolumne River Trust modeled what would happen if the six-year drought of record were to repeat and the Bay Delta plan were in effect. We found that the SFPUC could manage the drought with an average of just 10% rationing. The SFPUC has not challenged our model, but asserts it is planning for a design drought that arbitrarily combines the two worst droughts from the latter part of the last century. Most water agencies plan for a three-year drought, but the SFPUC is preparing for an eight and a half year drought, which would dramatically increase the rate of water rationing. If they did follow their rationing scenario, at the end of a repeat of the six year drought of record, the SFPUC would end up with enough water and storage to last more than two years, and then storage would quickly refill. All of the economic impacts they forecast would have been unnecessary. In a worst-case scenario, if we did experience a drought worse than any we've ever seen, water could be purchased from an agricultural water district at a reasonable price. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Bay Delta Water Quality Control Plan. We can have a vibrant economy and healthier ecosystems. Please share this video with others who you think might be interested.